all right so we're back with another video here got us a very nice washing machine replace what needs to be replaced on the machine the only issue left and this is the issue with a lot of these machines here these top top load pull knobs is the tops see this top right here the top will come loose I'm gonna show you right here there's a bolt that goes on all four corners of this machine here and I'm gonna show you how to fix this loose washing machine top here so what I've got in here so I've got two pretty wide quarter inch bolts here and what I figured out is the easiest is to use this little quarter inch wrench I've got in here So what you want to do is you're going to want to lift the upper a little bit and slide your hand back up to the front of the machine here. And you can see right here. Got the bolt right here. And you can see top of the machine here. There's a hole right there. I'm going to line those up just like that right there. And I'm going to start to turn this screw in by hand right here. My hand reaching inside the machine here. And I'm going to tighten it down with my hand up by my fingers. And we'll reach in there with that wrench and snug it down. What you'll do, I like to wobble it a little bit, make it a little bit easier for that screw to get tightened in there. And you see I've got it a little snug now. Now what we'll do is we'll grab our wrench. What I'll do is, I'll, you see, I'll slide that tub up a little bit with my arm. It's getting warm around here. You'll feel for that bolt. And you're going to turn it towards the front of the machine. So you're not losing it. You don't want to loosen it. I'm feeling for the bolt, and I'll stick my wrench on it. And then I'll spin it around. And you notice it's only just a little bit left, a little bit of play left there. It's a tight squeeze, but it's worth it once it's done. You can really feel it snugging down now. You want to make sure it's snug because you don't want to sell somebody a washer or be going down the road and get home and go to put the washer in and the top's coming off the daggum thing. Alright. So you can see right here, let me show you corner right here is really snug we're gonna do this side now grab our bolt same thing this time i still had the tub a little bit on that side this is the direct drive washer right here so the tubs against the shaft this doesn't have shocks on it so i'm gonna reach in on the inside of this side same thing you can see i've got my bolt right there i'm gonna line the holes up start screwing it in by hand there once we get it a little ways up on there, you see we're lined up now. We'll slide it down and tighten this up here. Once we get these on, you see it, good to go. I'll tighten this up by hand here. It's better to go ahead and pretty much have it all the way tight so that once you get in here with your wrench, check it out. It's pretty snug just by my hand there. Take your wrench reach down on the inside here slide your tub over a little bit same thing you're going to turn it towards the front of the washer not towards the back i'll 
keep my finger on the wrench so that I'll drop it down on the machine and take two hours doing something that's pretty quick. Oh, there it goes down on the inside. Give me one second. This one's still really nice. You see it's got the cover on it there. Still got the cover. Which is always a good thing. Let's finish it up real quick. Check. I was wrong on this one. I believe on this one. This is the right side of the machine here. It's, it's going to be the opposite. Tighten it. You're going to bring it to the back of the machine. That's it's opposite of the other side. I had it almost pretty much tight there, and I I loosened it. Okay. And that's how you tighten the top of a washing machine. You can see it's factory snug again. All right, guys. Thank you. Like and subscribe.